Hi, I'm Mark Goffney, here at my house in Santee, California. I started playing guitar when I was about nine, and then started getting really serious about it when I was about 12. When I started playing guitar, using my feet was already my primary way of doing everything. You know, I was born without arms, and I grew up uh, using my feet to play with my toys and to fight with my brother and play, uh, what was that first video game, Pong. actually found on a job site a, uh, an, a real beat up guitar and brought it home. And my first guitar literally came from like a landfill. Between Godzilla, Smoke on the Water, Paranoid, and Cocaine, the song Cocaine, those were the four riffs or five riffs that I knew and I played them till my toes bled <laughs> on this, this guitar I got from the dump. And I dedicated just about every waking hour of searching my town to try to put a band together. I wanted nothing more than a rock band from age 13 on. And this was the dawn of the 80s where the look was important. And a lot of people had an issue with me playing with my feet because of the image only. And I learned to separate the real musicians from the posers because there were guys that would get accepted into a band during the 80s only because of the way they look. So I struggled a little bit, so I started my own band called Wicked Misfit. We would get these good gigs for San Diego. These LA bands would come down and we'd play and it would be just our girlfriends and our moms up on the dance floor. And then LA Guns would come on and the whole dance floor would fill up where people were just crammed up to the front of the stage and I never could figure out why Wicked Misfit never could quite get them pressed up to the stage. Everybody liked us, but they'd stay back from us a little bit, it was weird. And one time this Asphalt Ballet band, they had a hit on MTV. We were supposed to play right before them. And we go back to the dressing room and they're getting ready to go on. And we're like, wait a minute, we're supposed to go on before you. Yeah, bro, we've got a party bus. We're going to Ensenada after this. So you don't mind, little bro, we're gonna go first. Well, we're supposed to go first because I wanted to play to their crowd. So we backed off and I said, okay, man, well, do me a favor. Will you at least come out and give us some props and try to keep your crowd here? We started our first song. He came back out on stage, got behind me, put his arms up and did the devil horns behind me and pointed at me like, yeah, look at this dude. He leaned over into my microphone and went, Okay, the bus from Mexico's leaving in 10 minutes, and the place emptied out. And there we were. There were like six people, and it was just, I, all I could say is the 80s were tough. <laughs> oh, man. Hope you're fat and bald now, Mr. Asphalt Ballet Guy. <laughs> I do. We have brakes on the car. I keep a uh, handicap plaque because I got pulled over one time and there must have been a felony or something in the area because there was all kinds of police cars around and lights and before he ever got up to my car he says, driver, let me see your hands out the window now. Uh, I said, well, I don't have any hands. And he said, well, I'll shoot, I'll kill you. Uh -oh. <laughs> he did. Reached in and just grabbed a handful of my shirt and kind of and he goes, oh, well, how was I supposed to know? I'm like, because I told you. <laughs> you know, I would love to drive Uber. I really would. I, I wonder if they'd hire me. I'm a good driver. I know San Diego, like the back of my hand. I can't imagine. They'd be like, oh my God, am I supposed to get in your car? 
So really, when I stopped chasing this sort of fantasy dream of being a rock star, I just started playing music to make whatever milk money I could to support my family. That's when everything started feeling good and, and working out for me. And this was an important part of my, my time because my wife and I started to split up and um, I went out to apply for a job. You know, well, I could tell I, I wasn't gonna get hired. And I had my guitar in the back of my car. And uh, after I left the job interview, I went to Balboa Park and I just wanted to get my breath and my kids were gonna come live with me for a while. And I didn't get the job and I was really frustrated and I, and I sat down at the park and I started just playing from the heart. And I looked up and there was like 25, 30 people standing around and as soon as I got done playing strictly to get out my emotions, I heard this, yeah! And I looked over and my guitar case was full of money and I'm like, wow, man. And so, that's kind of where I am now, as I'm trying to approach the music industry with a much more humble attitude and, and a work ethic that I have now. Um, Take me all the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's hard to believe that there's nobody out there. Hard to I'm all alone, the least I ever loved, my city she loves me, lonely as I am, together we cry. I don't ever want to feel like I did that day, take me to the place I love, take me all the way. I don't really see myself as a person you should feel sorry for. I'm more of a person you should want to sort of be like. <laughs> or at least hang out with. You guys want to take five and breathe in the yeah, air? It's pretty hot. I'm going to drink my drink because monsters are gross when they're warm. Yeah. Ooh. Can you get grease on your fingers too? Ooh.